is a really interesting report in the Daily Mail about migrants smuggling themselves out of Britain after it was revealed the growing number of asylum uh, seekers desperate to leave the UK. One claims the Home Office left them to rot and warns the country is no promised land. This is in the Daily Mail from Sue Reid, who is one of their uh, reporters and writers who does sort of more in-depth stuff. She's t talking to various uh, refugees and people who have come over to this country who actually want to leave the UK. Claire, what did you make of this? Well, I, th I, I think it's good news, actually, because I've been banging on for ages. Why would you want to come to this country? I mean, it's practically on its knees. Um, I, I don't want anyone to lose their lives over it, but they have been... I mean, the French police and the French were telling people, went to cross Cali, that this was the golden Dorada. This is Costa mm. Dorada, you know, remember? This was it. The, you know, uh, Mecca was England. And they, that's what they should have gone to, to get, you know, free housing, free benefits. You know, you live the vida loca in the UK. And it's quite simply not the case. And it's, it's difficult to live in any event. And it's increasingly difficult to live with any form of moral compass in this country because of the way that we're all being squashed, because of the way the politicians are running the country, and because even the royal family, for heaven's sake. There is so much smoke and mirrors going on mm. that there's no, there doesn't appear to be any transparency in anything at all. And I'm sorry, but I, in my view, if you're thinking about coming to the UK, don't. Matthew, what do you think? I'm, I'm not sure how we've leapt from asylum seekers to the royal family, but I think what this article <laughs> indicates, I think what this article indicates is that it's not a golden ticket to get to our country, despite all the problems that we have in Britain, despite the way in which public services have been run down under this government for the last 14 years. I'm still proud of Britain, proud to be British. I think that we are the greatest country in the world in many ways. However, the idea that if you're an asylum seeker and you get here, the red carpet is rolled out for you, of course it isn't. It's absolutely right that you should be picked up by the, by the lifeboats, and I think they do a fantastic job. Once you get here, you end up not being able to work for a very, very long time. You get tiny amounts of pocket money. You might be stuck in a hotel. I don't want to be stuck in a, a grotty hotel for month after month after month, unable to live a proper life or you get it chucked into a detention centre. So it's grim, and that's if you haven't been killed on the way. We need to have a proper system of asylum in this country where our backlogs are cleared far more quickly than they are. We need to do proper deals with the French well, actually, where we get a grip I actually on it agree in the first with you. Place. I agree with you, Matthew, in the sense of the backlog is the problem. Rwanda, to me, is a distraction, and that's going through the House of Lords. We're going to see the sort of ping-pong between the Lords and the House of Commons this week, so it's going to be a big story. I'm sure we'll cover it on Talk TV, but really, that backlog on the problems in the system itself and just getting a fair system. I mean, we are a compassionate country. Mm. As we know, we took in so many people from uh, from Ukraine. Ukraine. There are lots of people from Hong Kong who come here as well. But in terms of the asylum system, it's a total mess. Claire. It's a total mess, but it's a total universal mess. It's not just us. Yeah. Yeah, there are so many other countries yeah, that are looking exactly. at Italy, for example, exactly. as well. Exactly, Lampedusa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to read out a couple of messages here. Uh, John has said, with reference to the pay rise for MPs, why should MPs get rewarded for failure? This government has failed in immigration and done nothing to stop the boats or build enough houses, and crime is as bad as ever. They are useless, says John. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, where are we? Yes, um, I think this is directed at you, Matthew. I want to let, let you have your thoughts on this as well. Adam says, hilarious that someone who supported the importation of millions of criminals has now been a victim from one of them. You reap what you sow and couldn't have happened to a more deserving person, says Adam. Yeah, well, I mean, the expression on your face says it all. That, that is just exactly the sort of trolling comment that I, racist trolling comment that I get on Twitter, anyone can have a look at my Twitter feed to see what's been going on. This guy is making the link between people, by the way, we don't import people, they're human beings, between people coming to this country, often hugely vulnerable, having escaped conflicts and really grim lives in other countries, and then crime on our streets. This guy needs to go to Specsavers, look at my Twitter account, look at the gap, as I've already said on your show, between the helmet and the mask, and not that this is proof of anything, but he's white. So why is this guy texting in or tweeting okay. in, accusing, right. accu uh, to talk, trying to stir up division okay. by claiming that this is somehow a, a, a victim? I'm a victim of multiculturalism. It's nonsense. Okay.